Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ruby. It is November 16th. I actually cannot believe how fast the year has gone by. I am starting a new vlog. It's Thursday, so it's not really a weekly vlog. Maybe I'll make it like a weekend vlog, even though I don't really have any plans. But I've started vlogs and never really followed through with filming more than like a day for various reasons. But I am filming today and hopefully this makes it past the first day of filming. I have a really exciting Tory Burch Friendsgiving tonight. I'm really excited for it because a lot of my friends are going and I love Tory Burch. I love the team so much. But until then, I want to do a deep organization clean of my apartment. I'm sick of having an apartment that's literally always a mess. Like truly always a mess. <laughs> and maybe it's because it is quite big. Maybe it's because I have a lot of shit. I don't know what it is, but I like went to Lucy's apartment yesterday and I was literally like inspired. I was like, wow, it's so like tidy. I want that to be me. Milo is eating every single fucking cardboard box in here. Milo, I like, don't know if he's chewing it or eating it. Surely he's not eating it. Say hi vlog. Hi vlog. Hey guys, I decided to turn on my camera very randomly. I was not vlogging at all this week. I wanted to, I tried to, as you saw at the beginning of the vlog, but I was just watching a bunch of YouTube all day today and I watched Emma Chamberlain's new vlog and it inspired me to pick up my camera and vlog. And I also just did a closet sale in New York um, a couple days ago and I met so many of you guys and so many of you guys said you loved my videos that you've been watching for so long and that also just like Maybe be like, okay, Ruby, get your shit together. Post more on YouTube because those are where the real ones are at. Milo has literally been sleeping on the couch all day, keeping me company. He's such a good boy. I think I've decided I'm going to get a second cat in the new year because Milo needs a friend. It's only fair. He needs someone to play with all the time. You're such a clean boy. Sleepy boy. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, that's a nice love bite. Thank you. So this is kind of what I have left over to shoot tomorrow. It's a lot of accessories, and I ended up going through my Depop stuff right now and pulling stuff that I want to, like, try on and shoot on. Dresses, that kind of stuff. This is everything I shot today. A lot. This is everything I decided to keep. This always happens. This is everything that's getting donated. What I'm working on now is trying to get all of this organized into boxes. So I'm doing that right now. I can't lie, I sat on the couch for like 40 minutes watching TikToks. Just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Goddamn. And he had a little brother. I was cool with his little brother, my age and shit. We used to go over there and do it. So, 
The one that my first girlfriend confronted her about that though. Like, yo, you know you got a condom in the bed that day. And she hit you up about the episode. You honestly, it's like you think you. I think you could. Why can I? Why the fuck would I not be a doctor? I got a homie who's a doctor. I was gonna be a OBGYN. Situations if something was to happen. Things. I was compared to this. I say if you're doing something. Already know. Yeah. It's like you. It's different when something like it's like. Excuse me. Excuse me. It is quite the gloomy day in New York. I'm all dressed up <laughs> because I got ready. Um, I have to film. Not film. I have to shoot some photos for Missouri. Love Missouri. Love supporting Canadian brands, especially ones from Toronto. I'm like that really annoying girl who's like so proud of where she's from. I'm making my second coffee because I just downed a whole bagel way too fast and I know my body doesn't like bagels or gluten but I eat it anyway and I'm just like stupid and have no self-control and so now I'm feeling really like heavy and like not like I want to shoot like four ads but I have to do that today <laughs> so coffee Like I was saying, I am a little bit stressed because I do have a lot of work um, to get done today and it's already like one, which doesn't give me a lot of time because my energy runs out at like four. Um, this is what I'm wearing. You can't really see, it's very dark out, but this like maroon purpley top and this denim midi skirt. But I love this top, it's very holiday festive. Oops. Okay, I just finished taking my Missouri photos. I'm trying to like make a tripod here. Um, I shot, ended up shooting in this realization new sweater that I just got that I absolutely adore. Um, these are earrings in Missouri. Oh, I took off all the jewelry and put it over there. My digital and then send them in and move on to the next. A reel? Oh, I need to shoot stories for GOAT. It's all these Black Friday things going on right now. And I'm like, don't know what's wrong with me. I decided to shoot the day it's due. Like, that just like, gives me so much anxiety. All right. I did the content I needed to do today. It literally gets dark at 3 p.m. It is so dark in my apartment. I can't film anything except for YouTube because this camera will give me a little light. But you, can, you guys can tell it's dark. Anywho. I have some packages to open. It bothers me when they're just sitting here. So let's open them. I really want to play Drake right now. So I think I might just like do a silent unboxing and play Drake in the background. And you guys can jam out. Yeah. Look. Hey guys, that whole mess is donations, ignore that. All right, it is Wednesday. I'm having one of those days where I don't wanna get out of my pajamas. I think because it's been like so gloomy all day today, I'm finding it really hard to find motivation. I'm feeling like this a lot lately, as I feel like you guys can tell. Coconut water, you're on my coffee right now. Maybe I'm drinking too much coffee and it's just like, I'm crashing. At like 2 3 p.m. every single day 
it's like almost three right now. I haven't really done shit. I did a little bit of content that was due this morning and then I ate. I find that when I eat, I like lose all my energy. And that's not to say I shouldn't eat, but maybe I'm not eating the right things. I don't know. I really want to try not eating gluten, but I just know I'll never be able to do it. I shouldn't say that. Anyway, um, so I've just decided I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing computer stuff, not really having to worry about how I look. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow I'll do the content I need to do, you know? I'm watching Love Island Games right now. I've literally been binge watching it. It's so good. My guilty pleasure is reality TV. I wish I always had a reality TV show to watch. But I feel like it's also frying my brain. But I read a lot, so I think it cancels each other out. At least that's what I think in my head. I'm going to go grocery, sh go, 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 go. grocery shopping tonight. I want to clear out my fridge because my fridge is actually disgusting. I really want to go to hot yoga. But my toenails are rancid. So I need to go get them done. Like, if I'm being honest, like I literally don't have one of my big toes because it fell off because I walk a lot. And sometimes when I you walk a lot, like my toes, big toes will get bruised, like the toenail, and then eventually they fall off. And that has happened to one of the toes. So I've just been getting like fake toenails basically put on to my big toe. But right now I have nothing on it and it looks really, really scary. So I can't like, scare people at my yoga studio because I don't want them to think I'm a weirdo so I need to go get my toes done maybe I'll do that today too tomorrow will be more fun I have some plans tomorrow to see people I literally haven't left my house in like a couple days it'd be like that bye so how long is your dad here Just oh wow he's really are you so excited? Yeah, I am most excited for the stuffing. I feel like we asked this to each other the other night. I think stuffing too. Well, we're not doing turkey, we're doing chicken, so. I'm excited for the chicken. Me too. I really love turkey though. triplets and my twins <laughs> and we're going for lunch at rule of thirds yep hey. and rachel's here hi <laughs> <laughs> special guest Okay guys, it is Friday night. It's the day after American Thanksgiving. Um, I haven't really updated you guys in a while. Today I went and had lunch with my friends and her, their parents, Claire and Rachel, and then um, I came home and I just kind of chilled. And now it's like nine o'clock and I think I'm gonna go meet up with the girls and we're gonna try and like bar hop in Williamsburg. Um, I've never done this before. I don't know if I'm gonna have fun, honestly. But I'm trying to put myself out of my comfort zone. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I think I'm gonna be pretty chill because I just wanna be comfortable. It's pretty cold, I think. I'm definitely gonna wear my new purse. I got this at Seven Wonders in Lower East Side where we did our closet sale last week. Um, it's gorgeous. It's vintage YSL. I haven't really eaten dinner because we had like late lunch. And the only thing I have in my house right now is pickles. So I'll probably get something at the bar we go to, but in the meantime, it's gonna be pickles. I'm not gonna lie, I've worn this outfit like 10 times already and 10 times out, but I just like 
feel comfortable in it and I don't have that many baby tees that I like love it's like my go-to when I'm going out but trying to be cool I mean not cool chill um I got this one at a vintage shop I forget what it's called but it's like right next to the Bowery Hotel in New York belt is Lucy's and I'm, these jeans are Stussy I also have these like zebra brown and cream heels but I don't know if it's too much you can't see the heel because the pants are so long which I like so it's just the toe peeping out but like I don't know, I kind of just wanted to wear this to tie in my brown bag that I wanted to wear. I might just do it. Be really tall. I'm not sure if I should wear a sweater under this, though. So I was thinking of wearing this puffer that I thrifted in London. I don't know if this is, like, too casual. Or I have this Sandro brown fur coat. Uncomfortable when I stand out. Like, I like to blend in. All right, guys. I'm wearing the Susie jacket. I put a gray sweater underneath. Oh my god, I'm wearing full Susie. Susie jeans. My zebra shoes. And then my little YSL bag. I'm gonna go. Saturday now. Last night was a fail to say the least. I mean we had fun but like a horrible night to go out. It was just pointless. We didn't need to be drinking but it's fine. And now I'm gonna go to Whole Foods because I have no food in my fridge. I'm really craving squash like butter, brown sugar and then me and Lucy are getting a massage at four and I think we're gonna do movie night at hers. So yeah. All right this is what I'm wearing. Same jeans and belt. I wore yesterday my Nike Nike shocks, this sweater that I got on Depop, and my Tank Air tank top. Actually, I think this one's from TNA. Um, and then I'm gonna wear my new Chimmy sunglasses, and they're kind of big, which I like because big sunglasses normally cover my eyebrows, and it looks ridiculous. So I'm really fucking happy about these. And I also got some like smaller ones as well. Anyway, I'm gonna put on my trench, I think, and go. Soft goat cheese, brie, and hummus. Baby carrots, two onions, broccolini, because I really want to make this really yummy pasta. Asparagus, avocados, these like sourdough crackers, and then rigatoni. This is the squash I was talking about that I'm gonna make at Lucy's. Huge thing of Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Two little things of anchovies, also for the pasta with the broccoli. Bag of lemons, chicken breast. Isa's pita chips, they're like a little bit better for you. And then pickles, because I'm a pickle girl. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? I need to get a spoon. Oh, yummy, yummy. I have to leave to go get this massage really soon, but I'm starving. So I'm having, this is like my guilty pleasure snack recently. And it's funny because I used to hate peanut butter. And only like within the last month I've been like eating it like like this I don't really buy peanut butter but I would have it on like a piece of toast with jam now but I used to hate peanut butter I'm into it now in small doses but something about pretzels and peanut butter oh yeah there's bad stuff in here tapioca starch sunflower oil that's a bad one 
Sunflower Lycian Lychian. I don't know how to say it. Whatever. Live a little. We got our massages and now we're walking to Lucy's. It's quite cold in New York now. Oh my god, I thought that was a real person. I was about to like put my camera down. <laughs> Just a mannequin. We're having a, a movie, movie night. night. <laughs> and we're watching Gia and something else we haven't decided. Girls night. <laughs> Alright guys, I have my squash. Oh no, my camera's gonna die. My squash to do and um I'm gonna cook it. No, this is not put you it up on one side so it's flat. Yeah. I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> Stressing me out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we just watched Gia, <laughs> and how would you rate Gia? Um, I already rated it on Letterboxd, four stars out of five. Really? You gave it four stars? I would yeah. give it like 3.5. It kind of got like emotional at the end. Oh, really? Um, oh. It was a good movie, it was just kind of dark. Now we're watching Midsummer. I watched this a while ago, and excuse all the pocket popcorn crunching. I'm like <laughs> yeah, talking about it. We're so impatient. <laughs> Um, so yeah, wish us luck. Oh, look at our red and blue nails. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my gosh. tomorrow, which I'm excited for. And she has a workout at 9 a.m. Tomorrow, we're going to work out at Alo because Ruby's oh. forcing me. I don't know. Who is that? And I'm also gonna do hot yoga, which is kind of ambitious to do two workouts back to back. What are you doing hot yoga? Tomorrow at 8 p.m. You wanna come? Yes. I just booked it on class pass when we were oh, talking about it. Car? No, at this place near me. What's it's it called? called Y. Ugh, I hate that place. You don't like it? Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't like it. It's not bad. I think the pacing's good. I think it's so crammed in there. And I hate how dark it is. Oh, I like how dark it is. And I don't, it's kind of hard. It's hard because you can't, there's no mirror. Yeah, it just feels, yeah, I think because there's no mirrors, it feels like crammed. Like it feels, oh, yeah. like the room feels like I'm going to suffocate in it. It just feels more spiritual to me because it's like, okay, now I really have to focus on my positions and like my breath work. Which yeah, is really but I felt like it was also like fast. Yeah, it is fast. But I like that. I don't like that. I personally like Moda Yoga. I want to try. Oh, wait, isn't that where Nick Jonas goes? Uh, I don't know. A lot of I think a lot of famous people do go there. Yeah. But maybe I'll do it with you tomorrow. Yeah, decide. Decide if you want to come. Um, video. Oh, I don't set, know. set your intentions. And it's bringing...